Good afternoon. I want to thank Principal Ross and Ms. Caldwell for having me here tonight. Uh, tonight is a very, very special occasion. Senior Signing Day is the beginning. It's that pin that basically tells you when we started. Except before now, all of the groundwork has been set for the incredible future that you're about to embark on. So before you got here today, there was a time where you were a little anxious about a test you had to take. You had to ask your parents, to, do you mind taking me back to the, uh, to the store? I forgot one thing that's gonna make this project better so I can get an A. Or maybe you had a group project and in that group project you were hoping that this other person would do one thing and it turned out another way. All of those experiences have led you to overcome the challenges, but more importantly, to be ready for the future. Your college experience will be second to none. It will be the best and the most fun experience you've ever had. And it will be coupled with a few challenges, but none like the ones you've already faced before. You see, you remember that group project that you did and you thought that this person was gonna bring uh, something and they didn't and you had to uh, uh, change things on the fly? That's gonna happen in college. Or that test, when you went to take that class and you thought that professor must have been speaking a foreign language because you didn't understand anything they were talking about. But you practiced and you got a tutor or you had some help or someone else, a friend of yours who were in the same subject helped you out. That exact same thing, that exact same experience will just be duplicated in college. So you have everything it takes right now to succeed on the journey that you're about to go on. I want you to think about one. The number one, and all throughout college, think about just this one thing. All you need to succeed along the journey that you're about to embark on is just to make one good decision. That's it. Not 10, not 20, not 50. And then after you make that one good decision, just make one more. Maybe the good decision tonight is to go to bed before I have that test tomorrow. Get some rest. Maybe the good decision tomorrow is to eat right before I take that class. Or the good decision the next day is, you know what, let's study in a group because we all have knowledge because we're all stronger together. Because that's our motto, right? We're stronger together, right? We're all stronger together. You are essentially superheroes when it comes to being a student. You've overcome challenges that most people, it would have shut most people down, but not you. If you've ever wanted to quit or just quit today, like quit this test. I don't want to do this one. Can I, let, me, let me just take it easy on this one. Show of hands, right? We've all been there, right? We've all been to where we, we say, you know what? I don't think all of them matter. Let me just skip this one. But then you made the good decision to apply yourself and to try harder anyway. And that's what it's about. It's about making that one good decision and then making one more good decision. Some of the, the spouses in here would say that one good decision that your husband made was marrying you, right? Some others would say that the one good decision was, was having you incredible students. But no matter what, you made a second good decision and a third good decision and that's what, that's what it's all about going through college. It will be challenging, but so was high school. It won't be easy all the time unless we apply ourselves and use everything that we know to be better tomorrow than we were yesterday. But that's what you've been doing. That's exactly what got you here. And then I want you to think about this. Everybody take one deep breath and then let it out. Right before something that's difficult for you to accomplish, all I want you to do is take a deep breath, let it out and say, I've got this. Because you do. Every single time something happens and you say to yourself, oh my gosh, I, I need to call mama, big mama, grandpa, dad. I need to call them because this seems so insurmountable, right? This challenge right here is so big. All you have to do is take a deep breath and remind yourself, I've got this. I've got this. And then go at that challenge full steam. There's nothing that will come before you in your future that you are not currently prepared for. You are more than enough to handle everything that's gonna happen. Now listen, when you go to college, there's gonna be people from all over the country, from everywhere, every walk of life, every financial background, every nationality, and you will say to yourself, maybe somebody's better than me. Maybe somebody's faster, maybe somebody's sharper. Forget that. Let's run your race. 
You see, your race is knowing that you were more than enough before you even stepped foot on that campus. Your race is knowing that you were prepared in this school for everything that the future had to hold. Your race is knowing that, listen, there were people standing behind you and pushing you to get this far, and they're still supporting you and behind you. And all you have to do is make one good decision. And that second good decision will follow that one. And then one more good decision. So instead of looking over here and seeing what that person's doing and looking and seeing what that person's doing and then trying to compare yourself to someone else, listen, you are more than enough. All you need to compare yourself to is you. If you can beat you, you will always win. If you will only compete with what you can give, tomorrow you will be better than you were yesterday. And you will continue to be good and then better. You are the next CEOs of the company, the district managers, the associate directors, the, the, the new persons who are gonna develop, develop apps that we haven't even thought of yet. And don't worry about what if somebody's already done it before you. Listen, the world will make space for your gifts. You say to yourself, but, but there's already a cab company. Uber said, doesn't matter, I'm getting in there. Someone else said, but Uber's here. Someone else said, I don't care, I'm gonna create Lyft. Every single time you put your head and your hands to the plow and you go for it, you accomplish what you set out to do. There's not one time that you have fully applied yourself and come back short, not one. Every single time you've applied yourself, you've come back with something that you were proud of. And then you try a little harder next time and a little harder next time. All you need is an A plus in your book. You see, an A plus in your book is more than enough. You know why? Because you know what you got yesterday. If yesterday you had a B and today you get an A, fantastic. Tomorrow I'm going for an A plus. And once I get that A plus out of any bonus points on an A plus, because I'm looking for them, because I know I'm capable of them. Your parents had dreams that you would be incredible, and you are. Your parents had dreams that you would go to college and you're signed up to go right now. Your parents also had dreams that all you had to do is don't stop and nothing could stop you. And that's who you are. That's where you are. All it takes is how many good decisions? Just one good decision. And then that decision builds upon another decision, builds upon another decision. You are more than enough. Let's do this together. All I need you to say is, I've got this. But let's say it like you mean it. I've got this. Let's say it like you got a support system that came from this school. I've got this. Let's say it like you're gonna be the valedictorian of that bad boy. I've got this. And let's say it like nobody can stand in front of you when you know what you wanna do. I've got this. Let's take it to the top.